Hello, David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. We are standing in what is slowly becoming the No Time to Die display. It's accumulating over time, and this is actually a video about one of the newest pieces that we received in that we've got to talk about, and we're going to do it right. First of all, let's start with something we kind of have to shoot an elephant in the room. Is it me, or does James Bond seem like he has an awful lot of sunglasses in No Time to Die. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I mean, every now and then we'll get in a special Daniel Craig movie, um, a pair of sunglasses, and we gravitate to them, sometimes two, sometimes three. There's a lot in this one, and there's a new one. And it's another Barton Pereira one, it is the Norton. And just to give you a couple stats on this, we're gonna do the whole unboxing, we're gonna do it right. Uh, the Norton um, is handmade in Japan, Frame material is Zill. Eye size is 46 millimeters. Bridge size is 19 millimeters. Temple length 145 millimeters. Includes case and cleaning cloth and yada yada. And uh, it is a green lens. Now, we have to give credit where credit is due. This was discovered by well, Harris Thomas, who is, uh, if you don't know Harris Thomas, he is a, a relatively new influencer dressing like Bond on Instagram, and he's got some other social media channels. He is uh, hes a pretty cool guy. We're, we're actually gonna be doing an interview with him. He runs into a lot of celebrities. He, uh, I don't know, he's got this penchant or ability to connect with Bond girls. We have to ask him about that when we speak to him. But uh, he also is very good at identifying some of these pieces, and he was able to speak to the Barton Pereira people in New York City about which sunglasses potentially are going to be in No Time to Die. And he found this out quite a bit ago, and so we've been looking for them, looking for them, and boom! We spotted them in Matera. Let's take a look at that right now. And there it is, and which is fantastic. Well, no sooner had we identified those, and Harris came out and talked about those, and our friends from Wink Optics said, David, back to you. Now, Wink Optics is, um, well, they've become kind of our go-to, our foundation for getting some of these sunglasses. They've been great about these reviews. They send them to us, and we try to get them done within two days. So just a few days ago, I received this box, this box, this box right here. Now, the last quote-unquote unboxing video I did, I had a little bit of flack, and I deserved it because it really wasn't an unboxing. I'd unboxed it already, then packed everything away, and then mocked up an unboxing hashtag spoil but now we're gonna do it right I have not opened these up I don't know what's in there well I do know what's in there right it's the sunglasses from the Matera scene that Bond wears but we're gonna open them up right now right in front of your very eyes there we go nicely sealed and by the way one of the great things is is that you're gonna see how Wink Optics packs this a lot of you have been taking advantage of the fact that Wink Optics are uh, Bond fans as well as they kind of know what you want so even you know there have been a couple people that have ordered the wrong thing by mistake Wink Optics corrects them all right here we go here we go what the? <laughs> kind of had a feeling that sticker was going to be on there. It says, hi, David. How cute is that? They, they always have something special. I feel like, you know, it's mom when, you know, she sent you off to, uh, to, to, to one of these bus tours when you were a child and she wrote that embarrassing note in there. But I, but I love it. Hi, David. And then they've got the little candies floating on here, which I will eat. So as you can see, it's very well packed. You're, again, seeing this real time. I have not opened this up but we've got uh, different layers of tissue paper. And now we have the sunglasses. Here they are. And what's great about these is they are really packed well. Um, there is not only tissue paper, but there is bubble wrap. So we're gonna take off the bubble wrap so we can really just get to these. And there is another bag on the inside. Again, we are not cutting, folks. We are showing you this real time. And then finally, we've got the sunglasses. There they are. Ooh, they're light. That's one of the things, I mean, just literally, I'm, I'm noticing right away, these are incredibly light. And here they are. Wow. Those lenses are so cool and so green. So um, we're going to get up nice and close and personal. So you can see right now, these frames are really beautiful. It's that faux tortoise shell frame. 
And these just, you know, scream of Daniel Craig probably picking these out because these are right up his alley. They've, they've got kind of a roundness to them. You know, a little bit of a cat, cat eye coming out, but a little bit of roundness as well. Okay. Now, what I'm noticing is um, the bridge of the nose. We're going to get in pretty close, try not to get too much reflection of the light there. But you can see that the bridge of the nose looks very comfortable, and uh, we're going to try these on. So never, never quite know if this is going to be for me or not. Uh, okay, so what am I noticing right away? These are unbelievably light. They're, they're super lightweight. They're, um, quite frankly, they're, they feel as light as my... Oliver People Airmans, uh, much lighter than the Joe and much uh, lighter than the other sunglasses that we've seen so far. And I know I'm getting a ton of reflection. I apologize for that. I'll try to turn to the side so you can see these, uh, what they look like on a human being. Because it's one thing to hold a pair of sunglasses, but it's another thing to show it on a human being. So you can take out a look at it here. I'll turn to the side. Hello, side. I'll turn to the other side. And you can see that uh, these are, I actually quite like them. I feel like I'm looking right into the, the, um, the viewfinder and, and kind of trying to see my reflection, but I quite like these. They're not too big. Um, they're not weighty. And boy, I, again, I just I keep coming back to it, but it's very, very lightweight. Let's see what else is in the box. So we have the uh, Barton Pereira. This is the case. Now, last time we were like, what is that thing? But this is the uh, anniversary case. It's super cool. Look how flat this is. Folks, that's insane looking. What I like about this is some cases are very bulky and big. And then you're like, oh, I got to carry this case around. And it you know, needs like almost a handle. Not these. These you just slip into your pocket or your suit jacket. But what happens is you um, got a little paper to protect it. You unfold it like this, okay? And then suddenly, it is your case. <laughs> there we go, there we go. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm so proud of myself. See, it turns into like a triangle that you can put your sunglasses in. That is cool, and I'm sorry that's Bond-like, and I know Barton Pereira probably did not do this thinking of James Bond, but it creates this really neat, crazy triangle, and then you're like, ah, but wait a minute, I'm wearing my sunglasses. So you know what? You take that triangle, and you fold it flat like that, and then boom, walla boom, and then you just slip it into your pocket, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, also in here, because it's Wink Optics, they included an extra cleaning cloth in here because you got the Barton Pereira cleaning cloth and uh, there's the Barton Pereira cleaning cloth right there. It's uh, it's basically this, not basically this, it is this, David. And then if you turn this around, hold it, hold it, wait for it. Uh oh, oh, uh, Toro, Toro. Getting a little silly here. And then of course they include cleaning solution because you're going to want to touch these babies a lot and you want to make sure that they're clean. All right. Well, I've been wearing them for two and a half whole minutes. So, I mean, right, you want to review. Uh, I'm going to actually wear these out into the world and um, I'm going to let you know what I think of these. Now, this is a little bit different than what we did last time where we just reviewed the look of them and the feel. I mean, these are, they're gorgeous. I mean, come on, they're James Bond approved. Of course, they're going to be nice. But how do these feel and function out in the world? What we're going to do is we are going to have uh, some Instagram videos that actually show us wearing this, driving, doing sporting things, having fun, and seeing how these hold up to the rest of these. Because I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're saying to yourself, how the heck can I buy four pairs of James Bond sunglasses? And by the way, who knows? Maybe there's a fifth. Um, you, decisions need to be made. So we're going to help you make those decisions. The biggest decision has to be, are these right for you? Does it look good on your face? I mean, there's so many techniques out there. Uh, do you have a square face? Do you have an oval face? Do you have a round face? Don't wear round. If you got a round face, it's going to make you look more round. I'm crying bullshit on that. You wear what you like. And by the way, I'm going to go back to Harris Thomas. Um, dressing like Bond, who, again, discovered these, and I want to give him credit again. 
although it's going to get to him and get to his head, um, because he said to me something once. He tried on a pair of round uh, Daniel Craig uh, sunglasses, and I'm like, round sunglasses? Eh? And he's like, dude, I like them. It shut me up in my tracks. The guy liked them. Leave him alone. I like these. All right, so I'm going to head to the mirror because I'm looking through a viewfinder, and that's not very accurate. But we did want to take these out and show you the details of these to help you make those ultimate decisions. Will you like it? Will you love it? Because you probably don't have a place where you can try these on right around the corner, no matter where you live. But you've got to decide which James Bond sunglasses do you want or do you get all of them? Anyway, if you do get them, I've got to give a plug, not because I'm contractually obligated, just because they're awesome people, to Wink Optics. There is the detail for Wink Optics right in the description. You can click on it. Please, 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 pretty please, please, tell them that you saw this here and this way they know oh okay that's where these crazy people are coming from and you can let them know that you want these i do know that they have some supply at least while i'm taping this who knows uh but again nice job barton Pereira, quality sunglasses great job wink optics thanks for uh getting these and getting these in and being able to supply the bond people letting us review these and to you good luck because it's going to be hard making decisions, and who knows, maybe we'll even see a fifth one. <sighs> well, we'll, re we'll review it if uh, a fifth one comes up. Anyway, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience, and we will see you. Oh, get it? Ah, oh, so damn funny. <sighs> we'll see you very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're gonna get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.